Eli Hart's murder in May of last year shocked and saddened people across the metro. Today, his mother was sentenced to life in prison for killing him. Julissa Thaller will serve her sentence without any opportunity for parole. Lou Raguse was in court today for emotional impact statements and Thaller's indignant response. At the sentencing hearing for convicted killer mom Julissa Thaller, Judge Jay Quam heard victim impact statements. As I read the article, I had a gut feeling it was Eli that was found dead. Including from Nikita Kronberg, a relative who fostered six-year-old Eli Hart, providing him a loving home before the courts returned Eli to the custody of Thaller, his mother, who a jury convicted of first-degree murder for killing Eli in her car with a shotgun. To this day, I blame myself for not saving Eli. Should I have kept in contact with this monster after Eli was returned for the home trial? It wasn't your fault. Um, it wasn't your fault at all. So the sooner you can let go of that, the sooner you can appreciate all the time that you did have. Then Eli's dad, Tori Hart, stood next to his wife, Josephine Josephson, who read their joint statement. You could see the love and bond they shared every second they were together. They had this extra spark between them that everyone could see. Now we only have memories. And they're not enough. When given the chance to speak, Thaler did not apologize. Instead, she claimed she's innocent and cussed out the judge and everyone in the courtroom. You're garbage. Even Thaler's attorney cringing. It doesn't surprise me, is all I can say. Eli's family is now turning the attention to a playground. They're raising money to build at Surfside Beach and Mound in Eli's name. In honor of all children that should have a happy childhood. And as Thaller begins to serve her life sentence, a lawsuit looms against Dakota County Social Services for putting Eli in Thaller's hands despite countless red flags. The lawsuit Eli's family filed against Dakota County has a trial date set for next year. As for the playground project, we have a link to the GoFundMe page with this story at care11.com. Back to you.